Arizona is the land of layers. So what we're going to do is walk up onto the top of that little hill there. So I'm going to take the easy way. If you want to follow me, it'll be easier. If you want to run up there, go ahead. Yeah, Cam Cameron 
pictures and images are very important because we spend a lot of time just thinking about pictures. You guys ever been to Disneyland? No. I don't know, Josh. I wouldn't come up here. Not coming up? We just took the last I picture. Knew you were gonna... <laughs> no more photos. No, it's over. If you guys want to kind of follow me down this way, we'll scroll down. There's some really cool crystals in the rock. All right. I'm going to take my number one photo. Oh, yeah. If you got, we don't, we don't start moving till you guys got all your pictures. This way? I like that. Oh, I can She's like a Terminator, part man, part machine. Got to go like this. Top old smoky. So get your press, get some photos. How you doing, Julius? Hi, like a photo? Oh no, I'm good. You're doing good. <laughs> yeah. So that's cool. That, so you got that on a gimbal? Yeah. So it kind of keeps it stabilized. Stable, yeah. I've got a. Uh, I don't know what's. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be stable though. On the Jeep, maybe. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I got like a GoPro. I know they sell like a chest gimbal thing where it keeps yeah. it from balancing as much. It's all suspended. Oh, okay. That's cool. It probably does a good job. Yeah. Woo. That way if we roll it, you got evidence. Yeah. It's good for insurance claim. <laughs> <laughs> Is it is it safe to uh, drive to Williams at at night? Yeah, well, totally. Yeah, you know it's good weather. Probably no snow on the roads or anything. Oh, okay. So it's about an hour and fifteen from here. Yeah, okay. But pretty chill, you know. But there's no animals crossing. Uh... I mean, it's always that possibility. So, yeah. But you're on the interstate, you know. You're okay. You get headlights on. You're paying attention. You should yeah. be able to see. Oh, there's a deer. Oh, okay, we'll slow down here. <laughs> yeah. But I-40 from Flagstaff to Williams, everybody's going 75 miles an hour. Oh, yeah, so it's yeah. a major our state. Yeah. So you should be all right. The, the most dangerous part of that is the stretch from Sedona to Flagstaff. Okay. So hi, that's Highway 89A that takes you uh, through something called Oak Creek Canyon, which is a wide yeah. mountain road. But yeah. Beautiful. That's the one I wanted to. Uh, that's 80, 89A. 89A. Okay. So that's about it's about uh, 28 miles, 45 minutes to Flagstaff. You go about 25 minutes north of, of Sedona. Uh huh. The road hits these cliffs and goes 2,500 feet up. Pretty okay. Quick. So it's kind of like driving the PCH out in California. Yeah. Like, oh no, joke! Look at that. Woo. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm then, staying at Williams and Flagstaff. Oh cool. Yeah, yeah. So you're up there. Yeah. Yeah. So take that road. If you can do it during the day, even better. Yeah. At night. I mean, it's still, you know, you'll be fine at night. It's just okay. You pay attention a little yeah. More. But if you're used to any kind of mountain driving, you're gonna be just fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the Grand Canyon. Yeah. Oh, I'm, cool. I'll, if I can um, hike the South Kaibab all the way to the Colorado, yeah. I'll try. That's a good, good trail. That's, I've been years that's ago. about 4,000 feet of uh, elevation. It's a workout. It's yeah. A workout. <laughs> but just take your time, especially it's not hot right now. Yeah, so I have to start early good. though. I like did, around uh, 4. Yeah. I mean, I, 20 years ago, I went through a Grand Canyon phase. So once I uh -huh. hiked all the way from the bottom yeah. to the top, in about three hours, 45 minutes, with probably a 40-pound pack. 
Yeah. So when you, if you if you're in good enough shape, you can knock it out for sure. Yeah. It's not as bad as you probably think it is. It's probably gonna take me six hours to go up. <laughs> yeah, it might, you know, but you know. By that time, it's gonna be dark. <laughs> yeah. If you do the Bright Angel Trail, there's literally yeah. like every mile and a half, there's a water, there's a drinking fountain. Yeah, that's what I'm. My plan is to do the loop, take the South Kaibab, then. So then they come back up this Bright yeah, Angel. Bright Angel, cool. yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. And this, like I said, this is the same stuff. We'll get into the rocks as we drive up to the next stop. We'll take a deep dive into geology. Mm -hmm. But this really is the same stuff as the Grand Canyon. Just yeah. multiply this by four times deeper. Mm -hmm. And you're on top looking down into it. That's going to be your experience. Yeah. So, I think Sedona, in a way, is kind of like if you could hike a third of the way into the Grand Canyon without actually having to do it, here you are. <laughs> yeah. You can take a Jeep tour of it. Yeah. Yeah. We're less regulated than, you know, that's National Park. There's a rural regulation for everything yeah. in the Grand Canyon. This is National Forest, less regulated. So there's kind of more to do here. Yeah. I was joking. You hike, bike, camp, fish, bury a dead body, all that more in the National Forest than I have. Yeah. <laughs> Free country is all that. <laughs> Jimmy Hoff is how it is. But, yeah, we look at it like if you could build your house in the Grand Canyon. Yeah. So are they doing people, are they permitting people down in the Grand Canyon now, or are they just letting anybody go whenever? Oh, I, I think you could day hike without let, without really letting anybody know. Um, to spend overnight, for sure, you need a permit. 